Hey guys, this is Bloody Hatchets, and I'm here to show you how you can make this cattle trailer. This tutorial will also include this truck. Now let's get this started. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and start on the trailer first. So, I'm going to go ahead and place the tires down just like this. And they're going to be one block apart. Now, going this way, it's going to be three blocks apart. So, one, two, three. And the fourth one, we're going to place the other set of tires. Make sure you place your stone buttons on these tires just like this, guys. And this thing is going to be five wide. Now, go ahead and take your iron trap doors and place them just like this on one side and do the same thing on this side as well alright now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and place our signs here like this and let's go ahead and go right over here and do the same thing Now what we're going to do guys is take our cobblestone slab, we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, just like that. And now we're going to go on this side, it's going to be towards the front, so we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So do the same thing over here as well, go ahead and match that up. And now choose what color that you want your trailer to be it's going to be two-toned so the bottom color you're going to place on the bottom here this block I'm using is a brown concrete powder I think it'll look pretty good now on the ends you're going to make them two blocks tall like this and just carry it along the side here just like that alright now we're going to go ahead and take the wood buttons and this is going to represent the lights the reflectors on the side of this so you're going to place one right here and you're going to skip two spaces and place another one so you're going to skip two more and place another one skip two more place another one here skip two more and place another one right there go ahead and do the same thing on the other side so place one there, skip two, place another one, skip two, place another one, skip two, place another one, skip two, and place another one there. Alright, now go ahead and get your dark oak fence and place one right there. Right here is the middle, so place one right there. And then go ahead and place one right here. Do the same thing on this side. Now grab your dark oak fence gate and carry it all the way down on both sides. Alright, so now once you have that, go ahead and choose your second color that's going to go on top. I'm going to use the green concrete and go ahead and drag it all the way to the other end just like this here. So let's go ahead and go on this side and do the same thing. So go ahead and drag it all the way to the other end just like this alright so now we're gonna go ahead and grab the wood buttons and we're gonna copy the same thing as what we done earlier down here and actually one two that one should be back just like that so make sure you have the other side the same let me go ahead and make sure yeah I got that so just go ahead and carry this all the way down just like this so now you should have something like this here now let's grab this cobblestone half slab three right there then the dark oak fence we're gonna do two layers on the back just like that 
All right, so now let's go ahead and grab the signs and let's place them all across the back bumper like this here. And now let's throw on some item frames back here. I'm gonna grab a red banner, place it in there and I'm gonna turn it until I get just like this. And on this one, I'm just gonna go ahead and turn it just like that. Now go ahead and grab your wood button and place one here, one here, and then place a stone button up here and up here as well. Now let's go ahead and do the inside of this transporter here. Now in here I'm going to use the base color acacia wood slabs. But I am going to switch up the slab with some darker slab, the spruce, to make it look a little bit worn down, make it look like the cattle has, you know, defecated in here, you know, done their business, poo-poo everywhere, I guess. So go ahead and texture that up. All right, so now once you have that, guys, go ahead and come right here. Take your stone bricks and place two here and two right here. Now put on your stone buttons back here like this. Grab your stone brick stairs and place one upside down here and one there as well. And once you've got that, go ahead and grab your stone brick slabs and place one, two right there. Go ahead and do the same thing over here. One, two. Now let's go ahead and take this stone slab to right here. Carry it all the way down until you get to this end. Go ahead and do the same thing over here. All the way down until you get to right there. Now let's go to the back of it here. What we're going to do is place one here one here and then we're going to place them on top and connect it up just like this. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and take this slab down to here. Do the same thing here. And as well right in the middle. Alright guys, now let's go ahead and go on this side here. Now you see where this wood button is on the end here, the second one in. You're going to take a iron pressure plate and place right there. The iron pressure plate on the roof will be the vent for from the inside. Now on this one, it will be one block in between here. So it should be right there. Now you should have a total of six blocks so let's count one two three four five six so you got six blocks in between those pressure plates so now let's go ahead and grab the stone brick stairs and let's go right here and turn this way here this way here turn this way and curve them around like this do the same thing over here as well one two three and right here, we're going to place the full block of the stone bricks. Just like that. And now, go ahead and fill this in real fast. Now right here, we're going to take the stone brick stairs. And we're going to place one just like that and one just like that go ahead and replace that there so this is what you guys should have so far and once you have this we're gonna go ahead and grab the cobblestone wall place one there and come out by one and come down by one like this now on top of that we're gonna grab the iron trap door place right there all right, now let's go ahead and grab the cobblestone half slab, place three of them right here, and whatever bottom color that you have, place two rows 
just like this here. Now go ahead and grab your stone brick slabs and place one here and one here. Then go ahead and put your stone brick stairs just like that. And now let's go ahead and fill this in using the stone brick slabs. So we're just going to go like this here and fill this in just like this. And don't forget to put a few farm animals in there as well. Well, Alright guys, there's your cattle transporter or cattle trailer, whatever you guys want to call it. Now let's go ahead and do the truck pulling this along. I'm going to grab the stone slabs and I'm going to come off of this cobblestone slab off this trailer by one block like this and make this three blocks total now let's go ahead and do another row here and let's come out like this so you should have this shape here now right here in the middle we're gonna place a cobblestone half slab and then an anvil just like that that will be the hookup in the back of this truck the fifth wheel for it now let's go ahead and grab the white concrete. You guys can choose whatever color that you want for your truck. And I'm going to place a sign right there for the license plate. I'm going to place a stone button right there for the tailgate handle. And then an item frame here and an item frame here. And go ahead and throw in any color block in there that you guys want. Alright, so now let's go ahead and do the tires on this truck. I'm going to go ahead and place the tires right here. And then one right over here, just like that. And don't forget to place your hubcaps on there. The stone buttons, like this. And now grab your iron trap door and place one on either side of the tires. Just like this here, guys. Now, whatever color you're using for your vehicle, I'm using white, obviously, so I'm going to use the white stair to go with it, which is the quartz. You guys can choose whatever that matches. Now, place a stair of that color right here, just like that, and right here. Now, over the tires, you're going to do an upside-down stair like this. So now let's go over on this side and place them the same way. Just like that and now in the truck bed here we're gonna simply put the white carpet in there you guys can put gray carpet whatever you want and this in here I'm just gonna put a hay bale here in here guys now whatever color you're using on your truck you need to have a slab to go with it as well so I'm gonna use the quartz slab I'm gonna go one two three just like this here and go ahead and go right here and do the same thing there. Go ahead and carry this stone slab down like this. And now let's place the front tires of this truck. So I'm going to place one here and one here. Just like that. One block apart. Place your stone buttons on there like this. Go ahead and carry this on down. And in front of these tires just like that. And now let's go ahead and grab the quartz slab, double them up here. And right over here, we're going to go ahead and do the upside down quartz stair like this. And we're going to go ahead and double these up right here. Right here in the middle, we're going to actually put a furnace. And then take a ladder, crouch, and place it on there. Now the headlights, we're going to do this. And we're going to go ahead and place the front bumper on there with the signs. Now let's go ahead and do the same thing as what we've done over there. So upside down stair here. And now let's go ahead and carry this on down just like this. Alright guys, so now let's go ahead and grab the full block of quartz. And we're going to go right here just like that. Now let's grab the black block of choice and let's place 
three of them just like that now let's take the black stained glass and let's go ahead and place three there one in the back and then three more right here on top of that we're gonna place the color that you chose for the carpet and we're gonna go ahead and place the white stained glass panes right here for the mirrors now once you've got that grab a button of choice and place right there for the door handle and this is going to be more of a work farm vehicle so we're going to place a ladder right there going to do the same thing over here as well all right guys let's go ahead and finish this off now let's go ahead and place your carpet right here on the hood and right here as well on top of this furnace and once you've got that let's go ahead and go on the back here and we're going to place it along the side there and then along the back just like this and go ahead and do the same thing for this side as well all right guys there's your cattle transporter and your truck I hope that you all enjoyed this tutorial guys please let me know what you think of this down below thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time